Hey, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I thought I'd bring you in to have a look at what the screen looks like when it's done. So, as I showed you in the last demonstration, that's the video playing in the background. As I showed you in the last demonstration, I wanted to show you the table that I had to build to actually accommodate a 143, 143-inch 149 blackout cloth. This right here is our luminous uh, black 4K. Now, we are just about sold out on the black screens, but this is the screen right here, and just want to show you around a little bit. That is the surface that I pressed it on. So, that's a, it's a multiple coating process. Can't show you this over here. These are all my, this is my goodies, my secrets over here, so I can't show you how it's done, but like I said, it's it's a process. It's not just a one coat spray process. I wish it was. I really do wish it was, but it's not. It's more complicated than that to get the screen to react that way. Now keep in mind, this is the same screen that was able to react, uh, produce a higher, uh, produce a white level. It was bright enough to match a piece of sheet metal. So it's a, it's a bit of a process to do this. So this right here is the surface right here that I get. I get it wholesale. This right here is around uh, 72 inches and it's around 40 yards. Get that for around $200 right there. All right, so, and then I got my other ones up there. I got more up there, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so I just want to show you the process, what it goes to actually process one of these screens. So this is all stapled down on the edges. Remember, the screens are cut three inches, two inches larger than the actual size, so they're uh, stapled right down on the edges. And then the whole thing is coated, multiple process of coating. So I got a fan here, and I got my big boy fan here that allows it to dry even faster. So this is my little sitting area where I sit at, right here. All right, so this is my little area right here. And then to test the screen, I have a 50 lumen pocket projector. I take my projector, I have my video stream right there off my cell phone, and I can get a grip on this. And I have redirected at the screen. So I can see that 50 lumens is gonna show up as you can see all this lighting we have in here, 50 lumens is going to show up on the screen. So as close as I bring it in, you can see the image is going to get sharper. I have to bring it out. So I have to run this all the way across the screen to make sure that 50 lumens is going to show up on the screen. You can see where my hand is at and where the screen is at. I got it pretty far back. So it allows me to see how it's going to react. Well, this is how I test them out. Mine, this is 50 lumens, so we are still under a great deal of light. So the screen still has to be able to pick up. Now we'll bring it up real close. Right from here to here. Just show all the way around. That image has to pick up on the surface. That's why I like having the little portable ones. The little portable ones will allow you to be able to see if the image is going to pick up on the screen. So that's how I... Oops, I'm going to trip something. I think I knocked out my charger. Yeah, I did. That's how I, um, I test the screens. All right, so I'm going to put this back over here. My little projector and all that over there. So that's how I test out the screens because if the image doesn't pick up and it has to pick up an image, the image doesn't pick up, that it means there's something wrong with the screen. So that's how I know. So I run that little um, pocket size projector over the screen and that allows me to be able to see. Now if I take this light out right here, an overhead light, grab my pocket projector right here. And mind you, I had light behind me too, so I have light all around me in the environment. Alright, now if I bring it up high, it has to pick up right there. Now. For those of you that are thinking like, okay, what if I, what about the, the wood strip? The wood strip's going to leave an imprint into the blackout cloth? Nope, it doesn't. It doesn't leave an imprint at all in the blackout cloth. Look at this. So it just shows you that. This is how I test them. And then keep in mind, this is only 50 lumens. This is only a 50 lumen pocket projector. If I were to use 1,000 lumens, I would use 500 lumens. If I were to use... Uh, something a little bit more higher up, this would this would punch up on an image and look absolutely incredible. I mean, be way better than this. Think about it. This is 50 lumens right here that's pulling up, and we're still under lightning. 
So if this pulls up at 50 lumens, just think what happens if I have 1500 lumens, what 1500 lumens would do on the screen. All right, so I put my little pocket projector over here. All right, so I put this light back on because this is the light I had on in here. It was actually over here when I was using the pocket projector. We'll do it again, just, just in case for those of you want to see it again. You see, even with the light on here and the light on all over here, it still picks up at 50 lumens. Still picks up, still picks up, still picks up. Now my hands from here to here and the image is still picking up. Bring it close. So that's how I test it. Now I know at 50 lumens, it's going to pick up on that surface, then I know that if I use 1500 lumens, it's going to pick up. Now, let me show you right here. Now you see the surface right here? I lift it up, gone. No imprints. You won't have any imprints from the wood in, this, in the screen. And this, all this right here, you're seeing right here, all that stretches out perfectly. That's why I like using, this is a special material that we use. This is not a cloth. This is a very special material that I chose that will allow the screen to be weatherproof and when you pull on it, it will continue to stretch itself out around the frame. So if there's any, any small imperfections, they will slowly start to pull out of the screen. So this is what I like about this stuff. All right, again, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology. Again, give you a peek of a customer screen that's being done. Uh, this particular black screen goes for around $660, 143 inch, 169. It looks absolutely, it's gonna look absolutely fantastic in his home. All screens are shipped on a roll. Just want to add that real quick. And uh, we do have free shipping. Now keep in mind the 143s are not available overseas. Uh, we are working on it as we speak. All right, thank you all for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration.